welcome everyone. Welcome Amanda, welcome Chaos Knight, welcome Dead End, welcome Derek Guzamaki, welcome Angel, welcome Marcus Chams, welcome Jack Zambledon, welcome James Danger. I'm good, Jax. How are you? Welcome, Jay and Three. Welcome, Jordan Samuel. Welcome, Welcome Paige Infernum. To Skeg Vegas Wrestling Show Seven. I'm your host, your commentator, your ring announcer, Mr. Vegas. If you're watching the live stream, please subscribe, please drop a like, please click the bell if you haven't already, select all this will let you know whenever I go live. Please let us know if the mic quality and video quality is okay. I am joined on commentary by Connor. Hello. We hope to put on an entertaining show for all of you today. Please make sure to message in the live chat after every match so we know you're watching. Welcome Amber, welcome Brody Winters. Welcome Connor. Winter Wilson. We'll be checking every message in the live chat. I'll check it the best I can. But Connor's going to be focusing on the live chat while I focus on the action. If you have dropped a dislike, please tell us why. We are open to constructive criticism. We are always looking to improve. Welcome, everyone. No worries, Adam Braxton. I'm not bad, thanks, Amanda. What about you? Okay, Adam Braxton. Let's get the live stream to 13 likes. Let's get to 16 likes, in fact. If you are watching, please drop a like. It is free to do and it takes a couple of seconds and it is appreciated. I want to see OG Big Cat, Numskull, Destruction and Bloodline in the live chat. Let's get the live stream to 17, 19 likes before we start off the show. I'm not bad, thanks, Derek. What about you? Welcome, Duncan. How many likes are we currently on? We are on 16 likes, 2 dislikes. If you have disliked the live stream, please tell us why. We are open to constructive criticism. Welcome, Kira. Don't just dislike it for no reason, though. That's toxic. Welcome, Nightmare. Is OG Big Cat watching? Is Numskill watching? Let us know in the live chat if you are. Welcome, JDP. Yeah, I've not seen him so far. Let's get the live stream to 18 likes before we get into it. Nineteen likes now, please. Yep, yeah, we're at 19 likes, 2 dislikes. Awesome, let's get into the action. Everyone drop your predictions in the live chat. Make sure to message after every match so we know you are watching. Welcome Harrison G. Mitchell. I want to see 20 people type SVW in the live chat. Welcome Judge. 
Skeg, is Jackson going to sign with S3W? Rumors are he is. It's looking that way. Thank you. Everyone that's typed SVW. Welcome, Marty Morton. We are coming from Skegness. Ignore that it says Sheffield. That's the only option on the game. Let's get the live stream to 23 likes, please. People, numbskill and OG Big Cat, if you are watching, let us know in the live chat. You've seen Destruction and Bloodline, right? Uh, yes. So this match happened a few weeks ago, I believe it was a few weeks ago, maybe it was last week. And Numskull and OG Big Cat lost to Corrupted Blood, they're looking to get their revenge here tonight. OG Big Cat, former wingman champion, he's coming with his new partner, not a lot known about this man, Numskull. And Numskull let his team down when these two faced before. Corruptor Blood always impressive. Yeah, they are. You've got the giant bloodline in destruction. Derek says he's got got our eyes on this. Let's get the live stream to 24 likes, please. Let me know if the mic quality is good. I hear a little bit of an echo. That should be fixed, hopefully. Alright, alright. No, it's even no, worse. It's even worse. Oh, God. Have you fixed it? Has it? I think so. Yeah. Good. So, OG Big Cat and Numskull watching? Uh, no. Okay. And how many likes are we currently on? 22 likes and 2 dislikes. Let's get it to 25 likes, please, people. The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling Show 7 opening contest and is a tag team match in the Wingman division. Making their way to the ring first, the team of OG Big Cat. Numskull, the Royals. So these guys were not very impressive in their return match. Well, OG Big no, Cat's return match. Yeah, no, they weren't. Numskull got defeated quite quick, quite quickly in that match. Yeah, it was catching everyone off guard. Corruptor Blood picked up a big needed win in the wingman division. Let's see if these two can get back on track here. How many likes are we currently on? 23 likes, 2 dislikes. Awesome. Apart from the dislikes. If you have disliked, please tell us why we are open to constructive criticism. OG Big Cat, giant of a man, former wingman champion. A lot of people yeah. say GM3 carried him. He hates that. He's not happy about that. But I think I, I just don't think he sees what fully happened. I mean, in my opinion, they're kind of right. Seeing it through his own rose tint of glasses, maybe. And their opponents, the team of Destruction and Bloodline, Corrupted, Blood. Let's get the live stream to 28 likes. If you are watching, drop a like. If you are watching, let us know in the live chat as we well, await Corrupted, Blood. They are looking to pick up another win over the Royals. Interesting tag team this. They have been very impressive here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. 
They have. They've worked very well as a team. Got destruction looking Joker esque. And Bloodline looking like a 2021 version of Kane, in my opinion. Yeah. Seven foot four Bloodline. One of the biggest men here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling, but we have a lot of big men here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. And there's one of them, OG Big Cat. It's going to be OG Big Cat to start for the Royals, and it's going to be Destruction to start. Oh, forearm, but he just took it. Forearm fires back by OG Big Cat. Pushed off his Destruction. Pushed off again. OG Big Cat. Too strong for destruction. Oh, it's him with a forearm. He just takes it. Irish whip into the corner. Destruction's going to have to rely on speed. But a nice exporter suplex in the corner. I'm surprised he could get him up for that. OG Big yeah. Cat misses with a springboard elbow. And Bloodline is in. This is what we want to see. Net breaker by Bloodline. OG Big Cat trying to shake off the cobwebs. It's been a while since he competed. Rolling forearm. Bloodline just took it. Irish whip into the corner. Reversal by OG Big Cat. And it's the running drop kick there. Didn't get all of that. What is OG Big Cat thinking now? Springboard drop kick knocks Bloodline off the apron. So impressive for a big man is OG Big Cat. Yeah, he, he might is. He does say stuff, stuff about him, but when he's in the ring, he's great. Oh God, what a suicide dive! OG Big Cat on fire. Line is now in. Irish whip into the corner. Tag team maneuver coming up. Fireman's carry. Into the court screw net breaker. Is that enough for the win? One. Two. Kick out at two and off. The Royals seem to be working better in this match than they did the last. Yeah, they definitely are. Bloodline lifts him up. Head first into the turnbuckle. And you've got to think if Corrupt or Blood win this match, they'll be in line for a wingman championship match. Down the line, yeah, they definitely should be. Being on fire. Ooh, bell clap. Numskull won't able to compete with Bloodline. The Irish whips him into the corner. And he fires a warning shot to Destruction. But Destruction didn't want to get in. Irish Whip again and now Destruction is in. The smaller of the two, Irish Whip. Is he going to look to Irish Whip him into Bloodhound again? He is. And down goes Destruction. And Numskull goes for a pin. One. Only a one. The Royals need this win. Definitely. I can't Ooh. imagine what will be going through OG Big Cat's mind if he manages to lose. Again? Yeah. Have they turned up to watch yet, though? No. Okay. Pilly kick again. By Numskull. Maybe he's busy when always a busy man. Step up in Zaguri there. Numskull talking trash, destruction's down. Getting too cocky here in Numskull in my opinion. Destruction's up. It's been a good tag team match this, working on the arm. Is he looking for a submission? He is, he's got the arm. Is Numskull going to submit? Numskull fights three and it's the forearm. 
Oh, looking for a leverage pin. One, feet against the rope with two. I thought that should have been a rope break in my opinion. Yeah, that should have been. Irish whips into the outside. Good way to open up the show this good tag team action rolling four on by destruction to numbskull. Irish whips him back into the ring. Whips him up. Numbskull needs a tag. Forearm. Punch. Back and forth. Kick to the gut. Another kick to the gut. Oh, what a powerbomb. By Destruction, that was lovely. Destruction going to the top rope. What is he thinking? He's a little bit too far away in my opinion. I don't know what he's going for. Oh, God, he hit it. Ow. Goes to the pin, that might be it. Kick out and turn off by Num Skull. I thought what that was the it. Distance. I don't know how he managed to hit that. Oh, jumping headbutt by Num Skull. And we can't see what's underneath that odd. One. Two. Kick out at two and off. Maybe he's got like a metal mask on or something. We don't know because we can't see underneath the yard. But it's interesting that he just uses an headbutt for a signature. Goes for a pin. Does destruction kick out at one. What is your opinion on Numskull so far? He's definitely looked a lot better than last time. Nice he's actually back. showing us Drop. what he can Suplex. do. Needs a tag, does Numskull, and he's got the tag, and in comes OG Big Cat. And I think the structure were a bit confused, and OG Big Cat hits the drop kick, but he gets back up, and it's the arm trapped DDT. How impressive a corrupt of blood. They are very impressive, pin. we say it every time. Kick out of one. But since arriving, all they've done is, they've proven themselves that's what they've done how resilient is destruction he keeps getting back up after these huge strikes he just yeah he's just not giving in maybe a little bit too short for OG Big Cat to hit these strikes efficiently a strike after strike by OG Big Cat super kick Falls into the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two and off. Only just. Did you see that super kick? Devastating. So fast. I just went into the corner. Reversal by Destruction and Numskulls tagged himself in. Backstab or by destruction. Is he gonna look to tag in the big man bloodline? No, he goes for a pin. Maybe trying to catch him off guard there. OG Big Cat breaks it up before going back to the apron. Irish whip into the corner. Reversal by Numskull running forearm. But again, is that it? Went to punch him off the apron, missed, got him the second time. Goes to the pin, is that enough? One, not even a one. I guess that headbutt isn't that effective. An headbutt is a signature move. Yeah, it does not work. Not, it doesn't work whatsoever. I don't understand it. Why would, oh, big Urinogi by destruction. Back and forth, they go. Backdrop suplex. OG Big Cat's up off the apron. Maybe he's not happy with what he's seen from Numskull. What do we know about this Numskull? He can't have much experience. Because yeah, definitely to not. use an headbutt for a signature move, it's just a jumping headbutt. It's somewhat 
someone would use as a transition, do you know what I mean? You can't use that as a SIG. Yeah, it's nothing special at all. Right, your signature move needs to be something that can end the match. Yeah, exactly. Oh! And the headbutt ain't getting that done anytime soon. Slingshot cross, body. Oh, another jumping headbutt. But they are getting the job done in a way. But not enough to win the match. These two have been back and forth for the entire match. Numskull feeling confident. Is he going to try and win by count out? Destruction is up. Another red bull. How many red bulls is he going to go for? That's got to be it now. One. Two. Kick out at two and a half. Not enough to get a job done. I guess do any move enough and I guess it'll get the job done, but... What is he setting up for now? Get a sort of run. And a headbutt again. This guy's moveset is basic. One. Bullvine breaks up the pin. Have you ever seen anyone with such a basic moveset at Skate Vegas Wrestling? I have not. We're used to seeing these fast paced action usually. All these just raw power moves, but this is different to all of them. Can't be very entertaining for the fans. I don't think the fans like the Royals. You've got OG Big Cat thinking he's something that he's not. He's brought in this guy Numskull. The only move he can bloody do is a headbutt. It's embarrassing. I guess his name perfectly describes what he is. Oh, another headbutt. But that ain't going to touch Bloodline. Not even a one. The ref couldn't even get down. This is embarrassing for the Royals. I don't know what they're going to have to do to put Corrupted Blood away. I don't think they can. Numskull just staring at the structure wanting them to get in the ring. Going off the blood line instead now. That would better. A moonsault from the middle rope. Should use that as a sig instead of an headbutt. And now destruction is in. Oh, famous or What's the pin? Is that it? One, two, kick out at two and a half again by destruction. The Royals cannot put Corrupt Blood to bed. Springboard it, but. Is he going for another headbutt? He is! You can see why he's called Numskull now, because there's nothing in his skull. Goes to the pin. One, two, kick out at two and a half by destruction. Still not getting the job done with the headbutts. Leverage pin, leverage pin. One, two, kick out. Trying for it again. One. Two. Kick out again. Oof. Desperation setting in now though for the Royals. Yeah, definitely. Another jumping headbutt. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two and a half again. 
by destruction. How resilient is this guy? He's just not giving up. Not again. Not again. Another headbutt. Right to the head. Woodbine reverses that. Numskull were trying to get him off the apron. Punches him off the apron. Lifts up destruction. Going for another leverage pin. One. Two. Kick out again. And this might be it now. This might be it. Double underhook. Pile driver. That is it. Goes to the pin. It's over. Corrupt to blood. Win again. OG Big Cat will not be happy with No, that we result. will not. They cannot seem to put away Corrupt to blood. Corrupt to blood are there, Kryptonite. How many likes are we currently on? We are on 29 likes to this like. Let's get to 32 likes. Another big win for Corrupt to blood. Everyone's saying it might be time for OG Big Cat to find a new partner. It might be time for him to go groveling back to JM3. But I don't think JM3 will have anything to do with that. And I don't blame him. And the winners of this match. The team of destruction. Bloodline. Corrupted. Blood. And I set the challenge. I set the challenge to the Royals. I said if they can beat two tag teams this month. Or win two matches this month. They will face the wingman champions at Carnage at Caesars 2. But they failed to do that. Yeah. So, in my eyes, Corrupted Blood should be facing the Forgotten for the Wingman Championships at Carnage at Caesars 2. I agree there. OG Big Cat and Umskull just don't deserve it. And next up, we are going to have Jessica Ahmed versus the debuting Rachel Charms. I want to see both of these women in the live chat. Reaver, are these women watching? Uh, Jessica was there a second ago. If you are watching, please let us know. I haven't seen Rachel Charms yet. Have we missed? It? Have you missed any important messages in the live chat, or have you been checking the whole room? I don't think I've missed anything important. Okay. Jessica is watching. Let's get into this match. No, we should face the Royals at a normal show. They don't deserve the pay-per-view. Corrupted Blood deserve it more. The full win is a one-on-one -on -one match in the Queen of Vegas division. Making her way to the ring first, Jessica Ahmed. So this woman used to be known by Jessica Tenshi. She she has always been so impressive here at Skig Vegas Wrestling. Yeah, she has. She considers herself a celebrity. She's always been impressive. Will she get the win here tonight? 
over the debuting Rachel Chomps. If you are watching Rachel, let us know. Just keep talking in the live chat so we know you're here. How many likes are we currently on? 29 likes, 2 dislikes. Let's get it to 33 likes, please. Of course, Jessica Ahmed won the Kiss of Death tournament. Yeah. But just unsuccessfully, just came up unsuccessful when she went to face Amanda. Yep. Great point there. And her opponent, making a Skeg Vegas wrestling debut, Rachel Chomps. Let's see what this woman can do. Interest in a tie -off. Showing a lot of skin there. Looks very celebrity-esque. Does she think this is a fashion parade rather than a wrestling match? Seems that way. It seems to be a thing for a lot of female wrestlers in the core community. They think that this is a fashion parade and not wrestling. They're going to get a mistake when they get kicked in the face, I guess. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why people like Amanda are always on the top. Let's Don't see. mess around. The bell rings and off we go. Is Rachel watching yet? Forearms yeah. to start off by Jessica Ahmed. We know how good Jessica Ahmed is in the ring. Oh, what a kick by Rachel Charms. Caught that kick though into a dragon screw. That was a nice kick. Got kick. Went for the spinning back kick. Miss Rachel too short. Got her that time. Good start to this match with these strikes. Yeah, it is. Oh, went for the kick. Did Rachel. Looking for a guillotine choke now. Maybe she is showing that it's not a fashion parade and it is actually pro wrestling. Maybe looks can be deceiving. Oh, big slap. Big boot in the corner. Jessica's been dominating this match. Can Rachel get back into it? Jessica just standing waiting for her to get up. So impressive with these kicks is Rachel Charms. It has to be said. Yeah. Fuck the DT. Whisk Jessica up. Knee. Into the Oricum Rana by Rachel Charms. Oh, what a kick to the back of the head. This is a match all about the strikes right now. Slap, slap again, another slap. Jessica slapping the taste out of her mouth and Rachel fires back with a slap. Irish whip into the ropes. Iptos neck breaker by Rachel Charms. Stump to the shoulder, to the elbow, knee to the back. Back and forth match this, 50-50. Rachel Charms lifts up Jessica Ahmed, kick to the gut. Looking for the Amalok DDT. And Jessica taking a moment. Maybe trying to get into the head of Rachel Charms. Rachel Charms with the Irish whip into the corner. Being very impressive in her debut. Kick to the gut. Stomp. Jessica is up. Big Leg Lariat there. Irish whip into the rope. Leapfrog. Oh, spear! Spear! Out of nowhere into the pin. One. Two. Where did that spear come from? I have no clue. That was lovely. What is Jessica Ahmed thinking now? Double knees to the back. How good is Jessica Romed? Leg she drop! Is very impressive. One! Two! Is that it? 
kick out at two and all, counting along with a pin. Maybe Costa. Boards are a kiss. Rachel Charms. Chiropractor. Goes for the pin herself. Kick out at one by Jessica Ahmed. This is a great match. Irish whip into the corner. Front face lock. Elbow to the head. Went for a running attack. Missed. Oh, what a punch by Rachel. That might be it. Goes for the pin. Is that all? Kick out at one by Jessica Ahmed. It's going to take more than that to beat Jessica Ahmed. Oh, I believe she was going for another spear there. Went for the kick. Missed. Jumping clothesline. Oh, she got the knee up. I believe she was looking for another spear there. We'll never know, I guess. Jessica's struggling. What is Rachel Chom's thinking? Springboard! Bulldog! What a match! These two women are great. I believe they're they friends are. in real life, so they should have good chemistry. Oh, spinning kick! That's it! Goes for the pin! Kick out and two and a half by Jessica Ahmed. Rachel Charms nearly picking up the upset victory there. Springboard. Headbutt missed. Rachel just moved out of the way. Slap. Is this it? Lifts her up and drops it down. What a move. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two and a half. By Rachel Charms, what a match! Back and forth action, great showing. By on both Rachel's women. Debut. Yeah, yeah, especially for Rachel. Great to see. Oh, what a move! Into the bridge, into the pin. One, two, kick out at two and off, and a nip up by Rachel. Me. Pop up, or a Camrona. Who's gonna win this match? Jessica Ahmed with the experience to leave the ring. Stomp to the back. Is Rachel watching yet? I'm not seen her. Okay. Gut punch by Jessica. Irish whips her into the ring post. I whips her into the ring. Jessica lifts the rope, maybe looking to end this match. Oh, what a DDT! One, two, three. Big win for Jessica Ormey. Oh, great showing by Rachel Charms in her debut, though. Great match there. Uh, no, Chris. How many likes are we currently on? 30 likes, 2 dislikes. Let's get to 33 likes. If you haven't already, please drop a like. If you are watching, let us know in the live chat. Huge win for Jessica Ahmed there. Back with a win. It's been a while since we've seen Jessica in action. And she gets the W here. And the winner of this match by Pinfall, Jessica Ahmed. Great match. Chris, you don't have a match today. You're injured after what Jane Free did to you. 
And next up, we have got James Danger versus El Drip God, Angel. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. El Drip God, Angel, shock the world. Winning that Escape Vegas tournament. You can try and get payback when you recover from injury, Chris. Are both of these men watching in the live chat? Uh, and girls here, and James is here. So awesome. Yeah. Let's go. Should be a good match. No limits division action. The following is a one-on-one -on -one match in the No Limits division. Making his way to the ring first, James Danger. Believe James Danger is zero and one here at Skig Vegas, so actually lost to Real Deal Reyes in quick yeah. fashion in his debut. We have got an echo. Is that any better? Um, um worse. The pay-per-view has already been fully booked, Chris. You leave me to book your matches, don't worry about that. You said James Danger was watching. I don't see him in the live chat. Uh, yeah, I did see him. Okay. Oh yeah, no mercy wrestling. There we go. Yep, six weeks sounds good to me as well. So six weeks, you will be injured for. Angel's quite the fan favourite now. Yeah, it's interesting he how he's turned it around. Everyone started to believe in Angel. After that tournament win. And his opponent is the Escape Vegas 2021 tournament winner. El Drip God Angel. You see that title he is carrying? That is a trophy. That is not a championship. But he can cash that in at any time for a shot at an All Limits Championship. Yeah, he can. I wonder if he'll cash it in at Carnage at Caesars 2. We know he's facing JM3 in a locked in Vegas match, so he wouldn't be wise to do that. But this guy is confident now. This is a new Angel. A drip god. In the all gold attire. A little bit of silver. But mostly gold. With the rings on his fingers. There's James Danger. There's Angel. Let's get into this match. The bell rings and off we go. Walk up to start off. James Danger's got the arm. Now Angel has got wrist control. And takes him down. Angel's got the experience over James Danger. Front face lock. Nice hit toss by James Danger. Pushed off by Angel. Angel too strong. Zangel looking for a snap suplex. Angel taught in James. These two do not like each other. Big clothesline takes down the big man. James Danger with a slight eye advantage, but he has not got the weight advantage, but he's got the arm in a submission. 
and Gale manages to fight free. Another snap suplex by Angel. James Danger to the outside and Gale goes flying over the top rope. How impressive was that? Straight over with barely any run up. Knee. James Danger looking good here though, it has to be said. Lift up powerbomb by Angel. Angel's got to have the momentum coming into this match, Netbreaker. James Danger's up. It's the forearm, but Angel just took it. And it's the backbreaker. Which is like David versus Goliath. Despite James Danger being taller than Angel. Gets the run on him. Look at the speed of Angel, a man his size shouldn't able to move this fast. Oh, what a move, what a sequence of maneuvers. One, two, no, kick out by James Danger. How impressed are you with Angel and his new attitude? I mean, he's improved a lot. New attitude comes with new meaning for himself. I know he's been working a bit with you in training. Yeah. You've been helping this kid out. I've been helping him out a little bit too. He's been at Skate Vegas wrestling a long time. Big clothesline. Angel took it. Uppercut. Angel took it. Chop. Angel took it. Going for the arm now. Is Angel going to tap? Money just to fight out. Kick to the gut by James Danger and a kneeling jawbreaker. James Danger is holding his own in this match though. Yeah, he is. I believe he's moving right. up to the King of Vegas division after this match. This is his last match in the No Limits division. What do you think of that? Angel to the top rope. Hold your thoughts. Oh my god! Dragon Runner from the top row one! Two! Kick out at two and off! You ever seen a man that size do that? No, I have not. Says it's done. James Danger rolls out, rolls back in. Irish whip into the corner. What is James Danger thinking? Maybe thinking buckle bomb. Can he get him up? Look at the strength of James Danger with a buckle bomb! Goes to the pin. Kick out at one by Angel. He's going to have to do more than that if he wants to beat this guy. Showed how resilient he were in that tournament. Nice scoop slam there. What is this? Oh, God. Sit out. Pile driver. But James Danger just gets right back up. This kid's showing me something here. Yeah, he is. Doing a lot better than I expected. Oh, big punch. Rocks the bigger man. Knee. Knee again. Russian leg sweep. What's James Danger going to look to do? Going after the arm. Angel's up. Oh, misses with a springboard DDT. Believe that what that's what you were looking for. It's James Danger thinking. Kick to the back, misses. Sangel thinking. Electric chair. Driver into the pin one, two. Kick out at two and off. A move that you used to use, a variation of it at least. Yeah, it was a variation. What is he thinking now? Power bomb! Into the elbow or clothesline even! Into the pin! 
One, two, kick out it to an off by James Danger. Sangil thinking, springboard, moonsault. Elbow drop. Going after the arm now. Looking to snap the arm maybe. Oh god. Angel is in complete control now. Oof. James Danger showing life though. Blue Fed's pressed by James Danger. Mounted strikes. Angel might be busted open. Raining down the elbows now. Maybe looking to finish, lifts him up. Irish whip by Angel into the corner. Soul kick to the middle rope. Canadian destroyer into the pin. One, two, kick out at two and a half by James Danger. Got to be close to the end now. This is it. Suplex. Pile driver. Into the pin. Rock break. Luckily for James Danger. And James Danger is up. Angel says come at wow. me. James Danger just froze staring at him. Oh that clothesline woke him up. by Angel reversal by James Danger still fighting looking for another buckle bomb lifts him back oh maybe looking to finish this match knee needs to wait one more big move to get the win here Elbow. Got punched by Angel and look how much that strike are on it. Angel with a gunshot. Warning shot maybe, but Angel getting too cocky. Caving in the chest with his boots. Working on the arm again. James Danger lifts him up. Is this it? Backbreaker. Russian leg sweep. James Danger needs to hit one more big move. Leg drop. Has he got him in it? Has he got it in him to hit this one big move to win this match? Be a huge upset. It would be great for his career. Going after the arm again. Is El Drip God gonna submit? Fights free. Irish whip into the corner. Gets the run on him again. Tiger faint kick in the corner. Oh, but James Danger with a shoulder tackle. Great match this in the No Limits division. And I think Angel's busted up just over busted open just over his eye. Grabs him, drags him, throws him out of the ring. This match continues. Oh, what a cause line. What is Angel thinking? No, no, not on the outside. Not on the outside. Suplex. Pile driver. And is he going to win by count out? Not sure what the count is at. Six, seven. Can you hear? I can't hear because of no. the fans. 
Jim D Jim Stinger's getting back to his feet. Jim Stinger is in. How did he get up? I have no idea. To the middle rope. It's the double knees from the middle rope. Irish whip into the corner again. Knee. To the top rope goes Angel. Maybe looking to finish. Oh God, James Danger got the knees up. I don't know what the hell you call that move. Caught through shooting star. Oh my word. Who can stop Angel? That is the question. Is it going to take to keep this man, man down? No idea. He refuses to give up. Oh god. Oh god! Look at how his neck landed! Badly there. And Gail to the top rope, maybe looking to fly once again. Oh wow, 6.30 cent on. Setting up again. Power bomb into the elbow drop. Is that it? One, two, kick out at two and off. By and get uh, by Jim's danger. Sorry. What is Ankel thinking? Looking for another? No. Sides it into the submission. Is James Danger gonna tap? Is James Danger gonna tap? He has tapped, and Ankel picks up the win. Great match. Great win for Angel. Great showing by James Danger. I'm sure he will do great things in the King of Vegas division. I'm not sure what happened to Connor's mic. I am on my own for now. I'll try my best to keep up with the chat. And the winner of this match, El Drip God Angel. Oh, I don't think he's done with Jane's Danger though. These two do not like each other. Look at the blood coming out of Angel's head. What is Angel doing? He's got a steel chair. This is not good for James Danger. Someone needs to put a stop to this. Throws in the chair and it's the heel kick into it. Tells him to get up again. Got the steel chair in and oh god unprotected chair shot. Wrapping the chair. Round his leg. Stomp! This man might be going to the King of Vegas division injured. Lifting him up again. Power bomb into the elbow drop. Lifts him up again. No, don't do this. Don't do this. Suplex pile driver. What a statement made by El Drip God Angel.
And the next match is going to be Con versus the Warden. Brody Winters. More No Limits Division action. What a show this has been. I hope everyone's enjoying it. Con is here. Is Brody Winters watching? Brody Winters is on a two match winning streak. Can he make it free? I would have put a stop to that onslaught, says the powerhouse, Morty Morton. Is Brody Winters watching? Yes, he is. This is where Con dies, says the warden, Brody Winters. Let's see if he is going to kill Con. Brody can go on a free match winning streak here. Con will be on a free match losing streak. The following is a one-on-one -on -one match in the no limits division. Making his way to the ring first from New Jersey. Con, so Con's gone solo as of late, and he hasn't been. He's been very impressive in the ring and in the matches, but he's not been able to pick up the wins. It'd be a huge win if he can pick it up over the Warden today, because the Warden Brody Winters is on a two-match winning streak. He's got wins over Jimmy Danger, I believe it is, and Damian Wolf. That's fine, no mercy wrestling. Try and put it on charge if you can. This is where your streak ends, says Con. Should be a good match. Please, someone let me know how many likes we're on. If we haven't got it to 30 already, please get it to 30 likes. We're on 31 likes, that is awesome. If you're watching the live stream, please type SB Dub in the live chat. And is opponent. The Warden, Brody, Winters. I see Nightmare, the No Limits Champion. I see Harrison G. Mitchell. I see Con. I see Brianna. Although me and Con aren't a team anymore, I wish him the best in his career, says Jordan Samuel. I see El Drip God Angel. I see Steel Darkness, I see Derek, I see Jack Sambledon, I see Chaos Knight, I see JM3, I see Dan, I see Duncan, I see Brody Winters, I see the Joker TJ Blackheart, I see Amanda, I see Jordan, I see Wrestle Mayo, welcome Wrestle Mayo. I've seen you a few times now. Are you a part of the roster? And if you are not, would you like to be? I see Muggsy B. Muggsy B makes his return Friday to Skeg Vegas Wrestling. I see Minoto, one off of the Wingman Champions. I see Bev, otherwise known as Raynaud. She'll be back in action Friday. I hope everyone's enjoying the show so far. I see Tessa, welcome Tessa. Great seeing you watching. Not seen you in a while. Also see Joker, TJ Blackheart back in action Friday, making his return. The bell rings and off we go. And Con straight out of the blocks with the running dropkick. And Con looks fired up to me. Suplex. Coming straight out of the gates at Brody Winters. 
Snap there, not giving him a moment. Kicks to the back, but Brody just took it. And Brody with a Uranogi! And what a Uranogi it was. Just slowed down the tempo of the match right there. Kick to the gut. Lifts him up. Powerbomb into the double knees, into the pin one. Only a one quick start to this match. And Con rolls to the apron corner, former wingman champion. If Brody can pick up this win, it will be a huge win for the Warden. Brody Winters, Con's back in. Con lifts him up. Con being on a losing streak as of late. Sent Ed first into the turnbuckle. He needs this win. Brody wants to stay undefeated during his undefeated streak. Oh, God, what a nasty pile driver. But Con's just got right back up. And who's better than the Warden Brody Winters right now in the no-limits division calls line? This guy's on fire. Started off slow in his skate Vegas wrestling career, but he's back on track. Suicide dive to Con. And Brody Winters is fired up. Connie's back in the ring. And Brody Winters is looking for another power bomb into the double knees. Con getting dominated. Kick out at one. Brody getting a little bit too confident now. Great action in the no limits division. Con is up. Fireman's carry. Go to sleep into the German suplex. What a strong style type match this is. Forearms, elbows, into the ropes. Big clothesline by Con. This is a banger, elbow drop. This match has got a feel to it, leg drop. Says strong style there on the tights of Brody Winters. Front face lock. Take down. Front face lock. Backbreaker by the warden. Come rolls out. What is Brody thinking? Oh my word! Rope step! Tope Con Elo. Con gets up. Brody gets up. What a start to this match. Diddy T from the floor over position. And an elbow drop by Con. Con is on absolute fire tonight. He is pissed off. You can see it. Con looking to get a much needed win. Brody Winters on the apron. Bring slingshot into the X Factor, into the pin. One, two, kick out at two and a half by Con. Kick to the gut. Con is up. Con is up. Irish whips him to the outside. Whips him up again. What is Con thinking? Face Buster on the outside. Caught him. Stomp. Great match this. Up the no limits champion nightmare. He's got his eyes on this match. Telling Con to get up. Brody Winters. Oh, springboard frost kick. And a knee strike falls into the pin. One, two, kick out at two and a half by Con. And I'm starting to lose my voice at this match. Drop kick. Brody Winters to the top rope. Is he a little bit too far away? What is he thinking? Spiral top. Missed. Con is up. Spinning. Tombstone. Pile driver into the pin. That is all she wrote. Kick out at two and a half by the warden, Brody Winters. 
This is epic. Gotta be match of the night so far, in my opinion. Fizz buster by Brody into the pin. One, two, kick out at two and a half by Khan. To the middle rope goes Brody. Springboard into the moonsault, into the pin. One, two, let's go. Why did you let go? He had this match won. From face lock. Backbreaker. Con struggling to get to his feet. Close line by Brody Winters. To the outside goes Con. Into the rope. Suicide dive again. Oh, big boot. Just a kick to the gut again. And Brody's looking to finish, looking for the dragon sleeper. Rope break, luckily for Con. Goes for a pin. One, two, <laughs> kick out and two and off. Sorry about that, I'm losing my voice at this match. Irish whip into the corner. Uppercut, uppercut again. Relentless by Brody Winters with his uppercuts. Oh, God. This man's on fire. And Con's had a lot of matches lately. But Brody hasn't. Brody's had time. To rest. Connor's not had that time to rest. Fatigue going to play an issue eventually for Con. But this match rages on. Face buster by the Warden. Reversal by Con. Lifts Brody up. Reversal by the Warden with a kick to the back of the head. Oh God, with that blood? To the top rope. What is the Warden Brody Winters thinking? He's telling Con to get up. Pointing towards him. Is he too close? Punch. Or a Corona from the top into the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two and a half by Con. How resilient is Con? Another knee strike. But Con's been getting dominated for a large proportion of this match now. It's got to be close to the end. Look at the strength of the Warden. Reverse chokeslam. Connie's up. Oh, what a clothesline. Still got two matches to go after this one. I don't know how my voice is going to cope. Stomping on the back. Relentless by Brody. Can't get into his feet though. Inverted DDT. And Con with the experience to roll out. What is Brody thinking? Missed. 
Landed Orkido. Irish whips him into the ring. Setting up is the Warden. Batbreaker into the big boot. It is over. Feet on the rope, ref. Feet on the rope. Two. Three. Brawny winners steals one. Not all you want to see. A match like that finish. Not a match. Checking the chat as much as I can. And the winner of this match by Pinfall, the Warden, Brody, Winters. Big win for the Warden. He is now on a roll. Three wins in a row. Kong got robbed with that pin. And I don't think Brody's done. Someone needs to get out here and stop this. He said he was going to kill him. And he's got that kendo stick in. Oh, no, God. Oh, God, that was right to the head. You can see that blood coming out of corn. This man is a nutcase. Stop this. He's got him in the dragon sleeper. Choking him to death. Corn's tapping for his life. Huge statement made by the Warden Brody Winters. And spits out red mist or blood, whatever the hell it is. Congrats, Brody, but you didn't really need to use the ropes for leverage. You were already bodying Con for about 96% of the match as WrestleMania. And next up is going to be Sebastian, Lo Sebastian Lopez versus the King of Vegas champion, Chaos Knight, in a non-title match. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. All right, time to crack a bad egg, says Chaos Knight. I have an eye on this match. Let's see what you do, champ, says Duncan Riley. Is Sebastian Lopez watching? Let me see you in the live chat. Let me see 33 likes on the live stream, please. I hope you are all... Enjoying this show. I'm trying my best to do commentary on my own. I don't know where Connor has gone. Let's get into it. Chaos Knight undefeated at Skig Vegas Wrestling. Who will beat this man? The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling Show 7 co-main event. And it's a one-on-one -on -one match in the King of Vegas division. Making his way to the ring first. Sebastian Lopez. 
This man was at Future of Vegas. He had one match there. I believe it was against Fallen X, otherwise known as Basham Cruz. Basham Cruz, Fallen X, won that match. He's back in action tonight. Let's see what he can do. Spoke a lot of trash on Instagram. Spoke bad about Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Complete disrespected Skeg Vegas Wrestling and everyone here so who better for him to face than the King of Vegas champion Chaos Knight the undefeated one eight wins one draw zero losses I believe his record is at is Sebastian Lopez watching let me see you in the live chat This is your core main event. Still got a massive main event to go. Vegas rules for the Queen of Vegas Championship. Amanda Amanda invoking a rematch cause against the Queen of Vegas Champion Beckett the Savage. And his opponent is the King of Vegas Champion. Chaos Knight. I'm beating this ass just for him speaking Earl of SVW, says Chaos Knight. Big match feel here for this core main event. In my opinion, the Warden sucks, says Muggsy B. Wow. Would you say that to his face, though, after what he did to Con tonight? He is on a three-match winning streak, and he might have put Con out of action for a bit. But I know Con. Con is very strong. Con is very resilient. Con is made of strong stuff. I'm sure he'll be back sooner rather than later. And I'm guessing he's going to want his revenge on Brody Winters. Now, I wouldn't mind seeing them two go out here again because that was an incredible match. So no Sebastian Lopez. Sebastian Lopez, are you watching? Let us know in the live chat. Yeah, maybe it's this smoke in the air that's messing up my voice. So I'm struggling to breathe. Or maybe it's just the heat. And not having no fun on because it makes too much of a noise. But let's get into this match. Chaos Knight going to have the slight eye advantage. It's the step up in Zaguri to Sebastian Lopez. It's been a good build to this match on Instagram. These two building this match up. Overhead belly to belly. Let's see if it delivers. Should be a good one. Sebastian Lopez known around the wrestling community. Not done much here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling yet, but let's see if he can get the win here tonight. Be a huge upset if he does. Fireman's carry take down by Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight being perfect here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Undefeated, eight wins, one draw, zero losses. Can he make it nine here? Backbreaker. I'm wrenching at the back. Chaos is fired up. The fans are fired up. Chaos looking for... Looking to show off his strength. Oh, Pendulum. Face Buster and Sebastian Lopez is feeling the effects of that. Forum. Kneeling jawbreaker. Chaos struggling to get to his feet in the corner. Looking for the armbar is Sebastian Lopez. Is Chaos Knight going to submit? Chaos Knight fights free. Feynman's carry. Into the bat breaker by Chaos Knight. Into the powerbomb position now. And drops him face first. Sebastian up though, kneeling. Jawbreaker by Lopez. The fans don't like him. See that fan front row booing him. 
Oh, nice belly to belly by Sebastian Lopez. He is impressing in this match. The man in the army camo attire. Big clothesline by Chaos Knight. The man in all black. Pro apart from the slight red skull, lifts him up. Oh, just drops him on his shoulder. And it's the headbutt. Chaos in complete control, as he so often is. Ring general that is Chaos Knight. Nice. Exporter suplex by Sebastian Lopez. Good action here in the King of Vegas division. Non-title match, your core main event, kneeling jawbreaker again. For the second time in this match by Sebastian Lopez. Chaos Knight gets out of the way. It's the forearm. It's the punch. Turns him round again. Lifts him up. Face buster. Into the pin. Is that it? One. Kick out at one by Sebastian Lopez. And Chaos Knight nearly went head first into that bottom turnbuckle. Sebastian Lopez with a running big boot. Kick to the gut, knee. Listen back up. Goes now with a slight eye advantage. He has got the weight advantage, I believe. What is Kills Knight thinking now? Backbreaker. And he's taunting Sebastian. These two do not like each other whatsoever. Chaos working at the arm now on the ropes. And just having a breather in the corner. It's very hot here in England today. Stomp to the back. Went for the kick to the back. Missed. Inverted DDT by Sebastian Lopez. Chaos is down. Chaos is back up. Oh, Sebastian Lopez just staring at him. Looking for the jumping. DDT. Huge. Upset. Here. Kick out at one. By the King of Vegas champion. Chaos Knight. And Sebastian Lopez is now setting up. Looking to finish this match. I'm a look. DDT in. Coming is that it. Into the pin, big upset. Kick out and turn off by Chaos Knight. Quick, fast pace match this to the King of Vegas division. Sebastian Lopez looking to fire himself up. Sebastian Lopez going too fast. Close line. Close on again. Stamina playing an issue. It's been a while since we've seen Sebastian in action. Chaos Knight just throws him off the top. Huge German suplex. One, two, kick out at two and off by Sebastian Lopez. And Chaos is angry now with his stomps. Reversal by Sebastian. Reversal by Chaos Knight. Electric chair. Into the face buster. Sebastian's up. Big punch by Chaos Knight. Sebastian comes running at him full steam ahead. Chaos trying to slow it down. Elbow to the shoulder. Punch. Double arm into the face buster. And this might be the end for Sebastian Lopez now. Belly to belly. 
He's not done. Lifts him up. Center of the ring. Kick to the gut. Chaos Theory. No one kicks out of that. One, two, three. Big win for Chaos Knight who remains undefeated. Who can stop Chaos Knight? Who can stop the King of Vegas champion? Because right now I don't see anyone stopping Chaos Knight. Always putting on great matches. Congrats, champ. I am OG by Dan. Egg cracked, said Chaos Knight. Congrats, Chaos. I'll be seeing you soon, says Duncan. Riley and we still have the main event to go and what a blockbuster main event it is it could main event any pay-per-view and the winner of this match by pinfall chaos night now we're gonna go on to play mode to make sure we do not get an error It is going to be a Vegas Rules match. Everyone drop your predictions. Is this the time Amanda Amanda wins back her Queen of Vegas Championship? And becomes the only two-time Queen of Vegas Champion. This could main event any pay-per-view this is a rivalry that's been going on since the start of time i'm just trying to get it to vegas rules because it keeps going to vegas deathmatch instead so bear with me there we go there we go we've got it now Everyone drop your predictions in the live chat. Becca the Savage, the only woman to ever beat Amanda Amanda. I believe her record is like 28 wins, 2 horses. These two hate each other. And I think they will hate each other for the rest of their lives. It's been very personal between them two. As I said, Amanda Amanda invoking her rematch clause and she wants Vegas rules. For the Queen of Vegas Championship. That is currently held by Becca the Savage. Big match feel. Becca is watching. Welcome Becca. Great seeing you. Oh, everyone thinks Becca's going to win. Alright, Derek. Thanks for watching. Now it's time for me to win Becca's career. Get her out of my life for good. Damn. Strong words. I think this is going to be brutal. You might want to put the kids to sleep for this one. It is a Vegas rules match. Anything goes. And it is for the Queen of Vegas champion. It is going to be the longest reigning Queen of Vegas champion in promotion history. The former Queen of Vegas champion, Amanda Amanda, versus the current Queen of Vegas champion, Becca the Savage. And if you have missed this feud, you might want to go back and watch some old Skeg Vegas wrestling footage. Because this rivalry has gone on and on and on and on. Will it finally come to an end? Tonight, this feud has been one of the best feuds in SVW, says Arison G. Mitchell. It's going to be a tough matchup. I don't know who's going to win, so I'm going to let the match speak for itself. 
Mander is going to release all that anger and she is pissed. Some have said Becca the Savage has been disappointed as, as champion. She's let down the Queen of Vegas division and it's in a terrible state as of right now. Will Amanda be the one to save it? Big match feel for this one. The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling Show 7 main event and is a Vegas Rules match for the Queen of Vegas Championship. Making her way to the ring first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Amanda. The Amanda. This is your challenger. This is the former Queen of Vegas champion. The longest reigning Queen of Vegas champion in promotion history. She's only pissed because she isn't the best source, says Becca the Savage. Start at Phantoms of Pleasure Beach, then go from there, says Jack Sambledon. That's when it started. Says the champ who let everyone down, says Amanda Amanda. I remember them being best friends. They went from best friends to enemies, says Minato. You got this, Amanda, says Charlie Tutorials. Big match feel. Let's get the live stream to 34 likes, please, people. The next show is Friday, 6 p.m. UK time. And her opponent, she is the queen of Vegas champion, Becca the Savage. She's held this title for just over a month, I believe. If Becca wins, we riot, says Marcus Charms. It's been a disappointing reign, in my opinion. She hasn't lived up to expectations. But it was always going to be hard to top Amanda Amanda. Because she is just that damn good. Probably the best female in core today. If you consider this core, I consider it... Virtual Pro Wrestling, welcome Christian Tracy, great seeing you, please drop a like if you haven't already. Blockbuster main event, that could main event any pay-per-view, anywhere. There you see the Queen of Vegas Championship. There you see the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Amanda Amanda. She's fired up. There you see the champion, she looks nervous. Becca the Savage. This could get nasty, because there are no rules in a Vegas rules match. You can literally kill your opponent. Flaming tables, we've got it. Ladders, we've got it. Kendo sticks, baseball bats, steel chairs, you name it, it is legal. You're witnessing history here tonight. The bell rings and off we go. Oh, big drop kick by Amanda Amanda to start off. Becker is up to her feet. Front face lock. Kick to the gut. Court screw. Neck breaker by Becker the Savage. These two know each other so well. Becker the Savage, the only woman to ever beat Amanda Amanda. Who hits a huge forearm and she's beat her twice. Kick to the go. Oh, double knees to the back into the pin. Becca looking to get out of this quick kick out at one. Reversal by Amanda Amanda. Big European uppercut. Takes a step back. Becker out of it in the corner. Drop kick again by Amanda Amanda. But Becker the Savage keeps fighting to her feet. 
Maybe this is Becky the Savage's time to do what she wanted to do. DDT with the Queen of Vegas Championship. If she can pull off this huge win over Amanda Amanda. Kick to the head. Irish whip into the corner. Becky the Savage making her way towards a reversal by Amanda Amanda. Maybe not. Elbow by Becky the Savage. Strike. Amanda trying to get to her feet. Fireman's carry takedown or firewoman's takedown, you could say. Big European uppercut again. Amanda Amanda in control. Whistle her up again. Push off by Becca the Savage. Sling blade by Becca the Savage. Both wearing black attires apart from Becca with the white. Trainers, nice forearm by Amanda Amanda. Becca's out of it in the corner. Amanda Amanda gets the run. Forearm. She likes this move a lot. Springboard. Stomp to the back of the neck. Nip up by Becca the Savage. Audi L. Wheelbarrow. Stunner. What a start to this match. I said you are witnessing history. You do not want to miss this match. Net breaker by Becca the Savage. Into the motor lock. Into the submission. Is Amanda Amanda going to tap? Amanda Amanda fights free with the punch. Nice Russian leg sweep by Amanda. Into the rope. Leg drop. Into the rope again. Second leg drop. And Amanda is fired up, blowing a kiss to the fans. Forearm. Becca took it somewhat. Snap me. Both her into the kick. Fast paced match this is. Forearm. Reversal by Becca. Oh, what a drop kick and a nip up by Becca the Savage. Amanda's up. Kick to the gut. Forearm. Forearm again. Too small is Becca to hit that move. Elbow. Just throwing down these strikes. Becca out of it in the corner. Reversal by Becca the Savage. Gut punch. Puts her on the top rope. Oh god, what a super kick from Becca the Savage. And a front flip into the leg drop. And Irish whips her out of the ring. Becca feeling confident, taunting Amanda Amanda. That's not wise. Amanda's up. Amanda's up. Amanda's got her. Explode a suplex on the outside. Doesn't even bother trying to get her back into the ring. This is personal. She wants to work Becca the Savage and she's got a steel chair. Looking for another weapon. Becca's trying to put a stop to that. She does put a stop to that. Irish whip into the ring by Amanda to Becca. She's got a cricket bat now. Oh, God, what a shot. Amanda playing cricket with Becca's, eye, Becca's head. Jesus Christ. And Becca's still saying, come at me. Oh, God. And she ran out her with a sledgehammer. Leaving the ring again. Becca is up again. The bloody hell's that? It's a bloody gravestone. Oh, reversal by Becca. Reverse twist of fate on the outside. This could be a match of the year contender here, ladies and gentlemen.
Vegas rules for the Queen of Vegas Championship between these two rivals. What is Amanda doing with that gravestone? What is Amanda doing with that gravestone? Oh, God! Telling her to get up again. Got the gravestone in hand. Oh, God! Just smashed it! What? Nip up by Becca! Ow! Amanda taunting her. I don't know how she nipped up after getting a gravestone smashed over her head. Just shows you that Becca is a savage. What is Amanda thinking? Playing with her food right now. Head first into the ring post. Oh god, Amanda Amanda's got a ladder. Puts that in the ring. Looking for another weapon. Is Becca going to stop her? She is. Oh, what a clothesline by Becca the Savage. Becca looking underneath the ring for a weapon now. She's got a table. Amanda trying to get out of the way, but Becca is going um with that table. Where's Amanda up? Irish whip by Amanda Amanda. Amanda with a table now. Brings that into the ring. What is she looking to do with a table? Sets it up. Becca trying to climb back in. Irish whip to the outside by Amanda Demanda, who's now got the table and uh, the ladder, sorry, as well. What is she looking to do with that ladder? She's carrying it right now. Trying to say it up. Or well, maybe she's just waiting for Becca to get up so she can strike her with it. Fighting over this ladder. Oh, shot. With the ladder. Oh, puts the ladder against the ropes. Got the table in and again. Setting the table up. Now setting the ladder up. But she sees Becca get into her feet. So she strikes over the ladder again. And she sees Becca get into her feet again. So she hits her again with a ladder. Now she picks up the table. What is she thinking to do with that? Throws it out of the ring. That's not good. What does the Manda have in mind? Oh, God. Oh, God. Irish whip into the ring. And we have fire. And that is not good. For Becca the Savage or Amanda the Amanda. They're climbing the ladder. Becca, don't climb it. Wow. Wow. Don't do this. Don't do this. Superplex off the top of the freaking ladder! And Becca landed bad. She might have broken legs. Them ropes are made of steel. Oh, God! Both women are down. And Amanda's telling her to get up. Clothesline. Ladder goes down. Clothesline again. Drop kick. Lifts her up. Good night. Sister. New Queen of Vegas champion. One. 
two kick out two and a half by Becca the Savage. I have no idea how she kicked out, but she did. Oh, and strikes over the ladder again. Is this the end of Becca the Savage? With all this match is going, I'd say yes. Irish whip into the corner. Reversal by Becca the Savage. Reversal by Amanda the Mando. Soul kick. Ladder goes down to the middle rope. Canadian Destroyer. We've still got that flaming table ringside. Gotta keep an eye on that. Irish whip into the corner. Amanda with a ladder again. What is she thinking? Don't do this. Oh god, just strikes Becca the Savage with the ladder. What is Amanda thinking now? Looking underneath the ring again. Got a steel chair. Oh god. Chair shot to the gut. DDT onto the chair. Amanda Amanda is looking to end Becca the Savage's career here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. And there's not a lot Becca can do about it. Irish whip into the steel chair. This is a more dominant Amanda Amanda we have ever seen. This should end it. Good night, sister coming up for the second time. Amanda telling her to get up. She wants to inflict more punishment. Climbs the ladder. Maybe challenging Becca to get up the ladder. What is Amanda thinking? What the hell is Amanda thinking? Oh my god. Have we ever seen a more brutal female match than this? If we have. Tell me where. Because bleeding hell. Oh, Becca were clever there. Trying to push the ladder down. Amanda's wanting her to climb it. But Becca's not accepting that. Amanda climbs up again. Becca the Savage refusing to climb it. You can see why after the last time. And he broke her legs. Amanda Amanda thinking, going after the arms now, maybe weakening the arms for the arm submission finish. Amanda Amanda, springboard, drop kick. Amanda to the ladder again. To the top of the ladder. What the hell is Amanda thinking? Drop kick from the top. Not again. Not again. Another exploder suplex. The ref's checking on Becca. But Amanda's not allowing it. Just pulls her back to her feet. Slingshot backbreaker. Becca's not got any offense in for a good amount of time now. She keeps challenging Becca to climb the ladder, but she's not accepting it. I don't blame her. Oh, nice. Standing Shiranoi by Becca the Savage. Becca looking for the Savage stomp there, but Amanda reverses. Climbs the ladder again, but still Becca is not accepting the challenge of climbing it. DDT ladder goes down. Becca's got the ladder now. 
throws the ladder out. She doesn't want any more of that ladder. Amanda struggling to get to her feet. Becker went for the kick to the gut. Amanda reverses. Kick to the gut by Becker. Snap me. Reversal. Grabs her. Drags her. Puts her against the rope. What is Amanda and Amanda thinking? That flaming table's out there. Amanda and Amanda looking to fly. Oh, God. The fans are chanting, this is awesome. But I think Amanda and Amanda took the brunt of that. I'm surprised she ain't on fire because she's wearing all leather. This is crazy. Becca's dead. They look like Amanda took the brunt of that. A nip up by Becca the Savage. Ow! Oh god. Not again. Not again. Another flaming freaking table. Arm drag by Becca. Still showing life somehow. Oh god, Amanda's gonna go through the I thought she was gonna go through the flaming table there. This match is insane. Definitely a match of the year contender in my opinion. I wonder if the fans feel the same. Amanda Amanda to the top rope. Becca the Savage down. Elbow drop to the legs. That might be broken after landing on them ropes earlier on. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is Amanda Amanda thinking? What is Amanda Amanda thinking? Don't do this. Powerbomb through the flaming freaking table. Becker's back should be broken in off. This is getting hard to watch. Not another flaming table. Oh God, we have another one. We have another one. Becca, do not get in that ring. But how is Becca still in this? I have no clue. Oh, big punch. Oh god, they're fighting. We can't see because of the flames. Amanda standing on the apron. The hell is Amanda thinking? Telling Becca to get to her feet. Becca needs to stay away from that flaming table. Becca's going close to her. The hell is she doing? Oh, reversal by Becca. It's a good job. What is Amanda doing? Both trying to punch each other but can't because of the flames. Becca just carrying it on. What is Amanda thinking? Canadian Destroyer! What's she doing now? What is she doing now? Looking to superplex her back into the ring. Oh, God! Just end the match already, for Christ's sake. Becca, looking for the guillotine choke. Looking to retain her Queen of Vegas championship. She's going locked in. Amanda, Amanda fights free. Pushes her off. Oh, God. How is she not on fire? No. No. Oh, God. Sent into the ring post. What the hell? 
Does Amanda Amanda have in mind here? Don't do this. She's trying to, but Becca's too far away. Becca's out of it. She's seen stars. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God! Canadian Destroyer through the flaming freaking table! It's over! Pin her in this match! Amanda's not done! Amanda's got the arm, she's gonna go to make a tap! Becca's not giving up! Becca fights free! Pushes her off! This match continues! How is Becca still alive? She just got bloody Canadian destroyed through a flaming freaking table. I have never seen anything like that. Attacking the arms now is Amanda. Trying to weaken the arms for the submission. How resilient is Becca the Savage? But these attacks on the arm are relentless. It's just over and over again. And the fans are cheering this. They're loving this. Maybe they want to see Becca the Savage lose her title. Setting up. Good night, sister. Onto the debris of the table. Into the pin. One, two. Kick out at two and off. By Becca the Savage. Well, people have questioned if she really is a savage. But after tonight, there is no doubt that this woman is a savage. No other woman would be able to take this. And if she is going out, Escape Vegas Wrestling, if Amanda Amanda is going to end her career, then she's going out with a bang. Oh God. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Oh, I thought she was going to put it through the table. This is getting hard to watch. Just end the goddamn match. Put an end to this brutality. No, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? What is this? Don't do this. Don't do this. No. Superplex through the flaming freaking table. Go to the pin. It's over. One. Two. New Queen of Vegas champion. Kick out again by Becca the Savage. And Amanda is setting up again. What is she looking for this time? Looking for the arm reversal by Becca. And looking for the famous are onto the table debris into the pin. Oh God! Becca the Savage retains! Becca the Savage retains! And Becca the Savage continues to prove that she is Amanda Amanda's kryptonite. And Amanda's got to be pissed.
and the winner of this match and still Queen of Vegas champion Becca the Savage Wow And this is why Skeg Vegas Wrestling is the best Expect the unexpected Oh god, Amanda Amanda is gonna be pissed. She's gonna go through the entire women's division and kill all of them. If you are watching the live stream, please drop a like, please subscribe. If you haven't already, click the bell, select all. This will let you know whenever I go live. Follow me on Instagram. Skeg Vegas Wrestling, Twitter at S Vegas Wrestling, Facebook Skeg Vegas Wrestling, and the fans are booing. They hate Becca the Savage and what she's done to the Queen of Vegas division. But how is Amanda gonna get in the title picture now, Marcus Charms? You may say. That it's going to be Amanda vs. back uh, at the pay-per-view. But how? How is Amanda, Amanda going to get back in the title scene so close to the pay-per-view? How? I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a look. Of women that have been doing great things in the Queen of Vegas division lately. Who are on winning streaks. Because this needs to be sorted. We need a we need a woman. For Becky the Savage at Carnage at Caesars 2. So give me a moment please. Let's take a look. Who's been picking up wins recently. Gracious Nat Nat, 1-0 since returning. Jessica Ahmed, 1-0 since returning. So, leading up to the pay-per-view, I'll tell you what, Amanda Amanda. If you want to face Becky the Savage at Carnage at Caesars 2, for the Queen of Vegas Championship... You have got to be. This is going to sound crazy, but hear me out. This is going to sound crazy, but hear me out. It is going to be. Ah, do we do it like that? Do we do it like that or not? Amanda, are you pissed? Or I'm just better, Amanda. Face it, laughing emoji says Becca. I'll tell you what, let's stack the odds against Amanda Amanda because I know, she go I know how good she is. I know how good she is. So, we've got Gracious Nat Nat. She's on one win. We have Jessica Ahmed who is also on one win. And then we have Raynaud versus Skylar Red on Friday. So whoever wins that match, we're going to have a three-on-one handicap match. It's going to be Amanda and Amanda versus Gracious Nat Nat versus Jessica Ahmed. And versus the winner of Skylar Red versus Raynaud. And I'll tell you what will happen. If Amanda Amanda wins, she gets a shot of Becca the Savage at Carnage at Caesars. Two. But if Gracious Nat Nat wins, Jessica Ahmed wins, 
Reynor or Skylar Red wins, it will be a fatal four-way match at Carnage at Caesars 2 for the Queen of Vegas Championship. Amanda, you said it before, you said it before, you could take on multiple women at once. I've said it before, you can take on multiple women at once. I've even said that you could take on men. So let's put it to the test. Let's put three women on one side and let's put you on the other and see if you are as good as you say you are. Let's see if you are as strong as you say you are. Let's see if you are as powerful as you say you are. Because I believe you are. I just believe Becca the Savage is your kryptonite. And you get too emotional when facing her. Nah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to put the odds against Amanda Amanda. We're going to put the odds on her. We're going to see what she can do. Because she claims to be the saver, saviour of the Queen of Vegas division. She claims to be the best in the Queen of Vegas division. Well, she's going to have to prove it. Because she's going to face three girls in one match in a three-on-one handicap elimination match so she'll have to eliminate all of them she won't just be able to beat one she's got to eliminate all of them and that will happen let me tell you when that will happen that will happen on monday the 21st just six days before the pay-per-view Amanda and Amanda will have to fight three women at once in an elimination match. Three on one handicap match. If you are watching, please drop a like. Let's get it to 34 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell. Select all. This will let you know whenever I go live. Follow me on Instagram, Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Twitter, at S Vegas Wrestling. Facebook, Skeg Vegas Wrestling. If you would like to join the roster, message me on any of them. So let me just book this match. So Monday 21st is the date. And it will be Amanda Amanda. Versus. Gracious Nat Nat. Who is 1-0 since returning. Versus. Actually and. And. Jessica Ahmed, who is 1-0 since returning. And the winner of... Well, it's either going to be Rain or, or it's going to be Skylar Red. That match happens Friday. That's going to be your main event Monday 21st. So there you have it. I'm going to check the live chat the best I can. Right, if there's anything I've missed, tell me now. Skate can have a match next Monday or next Friday. You can have one Monday. I don't know what shape you're going to be in after tonight. But you can have one Monday 21st. Have you got anyone that you want to face? Anyone you've got your eyes on? 
Or should anyone in the No Limits division want to face Con? If there's a spot open Friday, could I be able to get booked? There was not one Friday. And who's talking? Is it Jack Sambledon? Is it... Dylan Fian? Who are you, sorry? Let me know your wrestler name. We're fully booked Friday. The next free space is Monday 21st. So if you want a match Monday 21st, then say now. Um... Fox Winters, and would you like a match Monday 21st? Can you remember what division I put you in, Fox Winters? I think it was King of Vegas. So I got something since the Royals lost. Can we face them Friday? You can face them Monday. How about that? The Forgotten versus the Royals. I want a match. You want a match Monday, Brody Winters? You want a match Monday, Jam Free? Duncan wants a match Monday. I want a match. Everyone wants a bloody match. Let me go for it and see who said it first. Jack Sambledon, is it you that wants a match or the tag team? Jim Free wants a match. Fox Winters, you can either face Jim Free or Duncan Riley. You pick. Pick your poison, buddy. You have a match Friday still, Darkness. Uh, Damian Wolf wants a match. I don't know if there's going to be room for you unless you face Con. Do you want to face Con? Right, that's a match then. We'll have Con versus Damian Wolf. Should be a good one. Oh, I'm getting really confused there. Jack Sambledon wants a match. Um, you're in King of Vegas now, right, Jax? Nah, James ain't got a match. Fox. Um, right, let's go back. Let's go back a minute. So, so far for Friday... I have, uh, for Monday 21st, sorry, I have Amanda Amanda versus Gracious Nat Nat versus Jessica Ahmed versus Eva Rain and Skylar Red in an elimination match. Winner slash winners face Becky the Savage for the Queen of Vegas Championship at Cornish at Seasons 2. I have Con versus Damian Wolf. I have Fox Winters. Fox Winters, please let me know if you are in the King of Vegas division. If you are, you will be facing the Arab Assassin JN3. It's going to be a tough debut for you, my son. But it is what it is. Tough competition here at Skid Vegas Wrestling. It's going to be the Forgotten versus the Royals. You are in the King of Vegas division? Right. So, so far, we have a Queen of Vegas division match. We have a No Limits division match. We have a King of Vegas division match. And we have a Wingman division match. That means we can have one more King of Vegas division match and one more No Limits match for Monday 21st. So if you want a match and you are in the No Limits division, say now. If you want a match and you are in the King of Vegas division, say now. Spin a wheel, Skeg. Just put them names on a wheel. I'll take a match. You got a match Friday. If you are who I think you are, TJ Blackheart, so you weren't able to have a match Monday, 
the next time you'll get a match is Duncan Ray wants a match, okay? Anyone from the King of Vegas division, step up if you want to face Duncan Riley. Rather you than me. You want to face Duncan Riley, Dan? Six days before the pay-per-view with how it happened last time. You want to kill each other? Ayub. Nah, no one cares about Ayub. Bro, his promos are trash. Okay, I'm guilt. But if no one else steps up, if Dan doesn't want to face Duncan Riley, then stop spamming, please. Then Irrelevant get his machine broke or something by that super kick by Dan. You want a match? You want to face Duncan Riley, Harrison G. Mitchell? Are you crazy, bro? But if you want it, if you want it, or oh, Jack Sambledon did want a match, you want to face Duncan Riley, Jack, so you've got it. That is going to be an absolute banger. I need one more No Limits Division match. If you are in the No Limits Division match and you want a match Monday, the 21st, let me know. Got to give it to Harrison G. Mitchell. The guy's got balls. He has got guts. Nightmare, you want a match? Okay. Are you putting your title on the line in that match? So who wants to face Nightmare then? Is it going to be Marcus Jones or is it going to be Brody Winters? And if it is Brody Winters, the title should be on the line because Brody's earned that shot. Brody, you want an All Limits Championship match against Nightmare? You've earned it. That'd be a banger. The only free space is facing Nightmare. So if you are in the No Limits division and you want to face... Nah, we're not having a triple threat for title. Marcus Charms has not earned it. Triple threat's a mess it. You've got to put elimination on, which makes it a really long match. We've already got one step. Brody's three wins in a row. You want to face Nightmare for the No Limits title, Brody? I'm thinking about match build. Marcus Chomps. And no offense to you, but your promos aren't the best. Like, we could get better match build from Brody and Nightmare. That's just be, me being honest. Someone's tried giving you tips and you've ignored them, so that's not on me. Scare guy was so drilled the match and you cancelled it. Alright, you can face Nightmare. There we go. Merry Christmas. Are you putting your title on the line against Marcus Jones, Nightmare? I've only heard one of your promos. I don't I don't even know if I've heard one to be fair. Like I heard a 20 second promo or whatever that was, but it was too short. Then I've seen the text promos and people know how I feel about text promos. I ain't bothered about them. Brody gonna be pissed? Well Brody don't get an L on his name, so uh, to me I'd be happy with that. But Brody, if you still want in the match, I will hesitantly make it a triple threat. Mm. 
If you do still want that match, brody, I will hesitantly make it a triple threat. But I don't really want to do that, honestly. You want triple threat, brody? You got you got some momentum going for you now, Brody. Three wins in a row. You don't really want to throw that away, but you want it, okay? It's gonna be a triple threat elimination match for the No Limits title. That's the problem when you hold open challenges. Nightmare, you get people like Marcus Charms answering. Marcus Jones, did you win your last match? That's what I want to know. I think you did. Marcus, what are you talking about? You have a match Friday. Bro, why are you trying to confuse me? You have a match Friday. I didn't cancel your match. You have it Friday. So what the hell are you chatting? Bro, you have one match a week. So that means if you have a match Friday, you don't have a match Monday, you have a match the following Friday. Like, bruh, what the hell? So it's going to be Nightmare versus Brody Winters for the No Limits Championship. Marcus Charms is trying to get his way into it, despite having a match Friday, which makes no sense. <sighs> Yes, you are in the match. You have got a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one match for the No Limits Championship. What are you on about the F I'm on? You've got a match Friday. Bruh. You ain't my head, bro. I'm losing brain cells by the bloody second trying to talk to you. Yes, you're facing Duncan Riley. Oh, no, you're not. Jack Sambo Dennis, my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next open spot. You guys hurt my head. Jeez. I can book you in for Friday 25th, Arison. Man's hungry. Man wants some food. Man don't want to be sit doing this. Friday 25th. Arison G. Mitchell. Versus. Who knows? Maybe God himself. Uh, can I get a match Friday? Yes. Friday 26th. Friday 25th. You have a match this Friday, but you'll have another one Friday 25th if you want it. So, Joker to TJ Blackheart. Anyone want to face Joker to TJ Blackheart? You want a match done? You want to face Harrison G. Mitchell? Friday 25th? If I can't get a match this Friday, then I want one on the 25th. Alright, Marty Morton, do you want to face TJ Blackheart? The match that was meant to happen for the Breaking Limits Championship. Alright, so it's going to be Harrison Mitchell versus Dan on Friday the 25th. That's going to be a great match. Joker TJ Blackheart, do you want to face Marty Morton? Bro, my crisp sandwiches have gone stale now. I was having crisp sandwiches. They've gone stale now. You made my crisp sandwiches go stale. If you don't know what crisps are, the potato chips. You know what I mean? Alright, that's going to be a banger. 
Joe could CJ Blackout versus the power of us, Marty Morton. Sheesh. Times like this, I miss Connor. Where the hell is it? Right, that's it. I'm going to end the live stream here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the show. I hope I didn't scare any of you away with my crankiness, but it is what it is. It's like really hot over here. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.